everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I would like to welcome you to week number 11 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher theme is Blood Red Carpet Slashers. And I will be doing a review for Cut. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. 1985, the cast and crew of the horror flick Hot Blooded are learning firsthand what it means to be stalked by a masked killer. When the director is viciously murdered on set, the production is shut down and the film locked away, incomplete. But every time the footage is screened, somebody dies. Fourteen years later, a group of enthusiastic film students decide to finish hot-blooded. After shooting commences on the eerie film location, the students start to disappear one by one. Now, they just have to finish the film before it finishes them. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to say is cut works for my blood red carpet slasher because it has Molly Ringwald in it. And if you guys know who she is, she was a pretty big deal back in the 80s. So she is the most famous actress in this movie. And that's why cut works for my blood red carpet slasher because it has Molly Ringwald. And by the way, she actually plays a actress in this movie that was famous back in the 80s. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, also, I wanted to mention that there were no carpets harmed in this movie, so there was no carpet slashing. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. Cut is a slasher movie that I have always enjoyed. But it had been many years since I had seen it. So when the opportunity of this challenge came up, I jumped at the chance to revisit this one. Now, I still have this standard DVD release, and I strongly feel like this should be a movie that needs a Blu-ray release. Now, this DVD was put out by Trimark, and I believe that is owned by Lionsgate. So that would put this in Lionsgate, possibly Vestron territory. Just kind of throwing out a suggestion or ideas. But regardless, this one definitely needs a Blu-ray release because it needs a larger audience because it is a very solid slasher movie in my opinion. Okay, so getting into the cast of characters that we have in Cut. So, as I stated once before, Molly Ringwald, she is our blood-red carpet slasher female celebrity in this movie. She's the most famous actress in this movie, and I find it very interesting as her character in this movie almost feels like it parallels her real-life acting career. Now, I did not follow her career, but that's just kind of the vibe that I was getting from it is the way I felt about it. I know that she was a big deal in the 80s, so in this movie, her character was a famous actress from the 80s, and then later on, she is a aging actress, an older celebrity who is looking for work, and she decides to take the role that she once started and try to help this film crew complete the movie Hot-Blooded that she originally started. So I just really dig how this works out for my, you know, this week's challenge. So the rest of the cast of characters basically centers around a film crew and some actors and actresses. The director, she has a motive behind wanting to complete the film sort of a I guess a more personal objective other than it just being a class project so there's also sort of a producer character there is the film crew and the other actors I think they are all are pretty decent 
there's not really any other standouts and they're kind of basic kind of characters that you would expect for a slasher movie. Now, I'm not saying that this movie altogether is basic because I actually think this movie is very creative and it does try to bring something new to the table as it is sort of a supernatural slasher type movie with a cursed film. So every time this film is being watched or or in this case, the this film crew is trying to complete it, uh, killings begin to happen. So I, I think that they tried to create something original with this idea, and uh, I really dig that about this movie. Now, the rest of the characters, like I said, I just think they're okay. There is one character that I wanted to mention who is an actor who has been cast for the role as the killer. And there's one scene in the movie where he is dressed as the killer and we actually see him come face to face with the real supernatural killer. And it's a really cool scene in the movie and yeah, a very enjoyable scene. So that's about all I got to say for the cast of characters. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the killer and cut. I love the whole concept that they come up with for the killer in this movie as he is basically a curse. So anytime anybody messes with this film, as in trying to watch it, trying to complete it, he appears and the murders begin to happen. So I like that concept. It creates a good character for the killer. And the look of the killer is really awesome as well. And it's probably my favorite thing about this movie is the concept surrounding the killer and the actual look of the killer. So I really love the mask and the rest of his outfit basically looks like what Michael Myers is wearing. So overall, very solid killer in this film. Now this is going to be slight spoiler territory, but later on towards the end of the film, he is unmasked. And how that happens is really neat as well. But once he is unmasked, he... His appearance is kind of burnt looking and he almost takes on an entirely new character. So he has a little bit of a sense of humor at this point and he is speaking. So when before he was just kind of silent and stalking, which was kind of neat in its own way because he was able to stalk people right in front of them as there was another actor who was cast for the killer and he was able to kind of blend himself in at certain points in the movie. So overall, a really unique killer. And and that's what really works for this movie and what makes this movie really cool. So now getting into the kills. Now this killer has a weapon of choice. So I give him props for having his own unique weapon. It is sort of like uh, hedge clippers. But it only has one blade, but it does have a little small blade at the bottom, so he has he is able to do some cutting and uh, but he's not limited to only this one weapon. he does do a few other kills, so there's a, a little bit of a variety of kills. Unfortunately there there is a few off screen kills as well. And then there's a few kills that as they're happening, it does a quick cut and there's just blood splatter from it. So the kills overall, they're okay. They're, they're pretty decent. So overall, this is a really fun and enjoyable slasher movie. And I'm going to be able to highly recommend this one. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. So uh, give it a chance if you've not seen it. If you have seen it, please comment below and let me know what you think about it. If you have not seen it and you find it interesting, let me know your thoughts on it as well. So please like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you think. And I would like to thank you for watching.